On this iFixiPodsFast.com video tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to change the battery in your iPod Mini, the first or second generation iPod Mini. Just a reminder, iFixiPodsFast.com is not affiliated with Apple Computer Corporation or responsible for any damage inflicted upon your iPod while following this tutorial. Here we see an iPod Mini. It's a first generation iPod Mini. The first and second generation iPod Minis have the same battery in them. The second generation iPod mini lasts longer due to a uh, processor that's located on the mainboard. But here you see this iPod, it was not turning on. Plug in the power, it turns on. More than likely, that's a battery issue. If you charge it and you're still not getting anything, definitely uh, uh, change out the battery. What you want to do first, put the, put the iPod on hold. Don't worry about any horizontal lines, sometimes that just happens. You want to grab your favorite non-marring pry tool to take and get the uh, plastic, the white plastic piece off the top. So what you want to do is create a gap in between the plastic and the aluminum case. As you can see the gap. And just gently work your way around. Uh, sometimes you might have to start over again. It's not the easiest to get into the iPod mini case. It's very it's a very difficult design, but uh, once you start getting the uh, pry part down and getting it fairly well, uh, then you'll be all right. Now there's adhesive underneath that white uh, plastic piece, so generally what you want to do is take and use a blow dryer on low heat for a few minutes just to get that adhesive bond uh, undone. As you can see, the adhesive is very strong and you do not want to break that white plastic piece, otherwise you'll have to buy a replacement. So once you get the plastic piece on the top off, then you want to go and uh, take and get the bottom. Now as you can see, I've switched tools because the bottom, it's got a lot more tabs on the underneath of the plastic piece and we want to be very careful not to break any of those tabs, otherwise uh, that plastic piece will not hold on any longer. Now we're going to grab a paper clip, ordinary household paper clip. What you want to do is you want to take and bend the metal clips out of the groove that they're in. They're in a little groove in the aluminum case. And what you want to do is simply get the uh, metal clip out of the grooves. Now that came out really easily. In most cases it will not. What you want to do is go through all four corners and pull out the uh, metal clip that way. Now what we're going to do is unhook the uh, click wheel connector. And what we want to do is use a flathead screwdriver and simply just maneuver back and forth on each side, prying up a little bit. Do not put any extra force on that uh, click wheel connector or you will break it and you will need to get a whole new click wheel. And they're not cheap. So just take your time. When it's ready, it will pop up on its own. And there you can see it's it's come undone. Now we go to the top. We're going to take a Phillips screwdriver. There are two small screws on the top. And you want to unscrew both of those. Put the screws away in a safe place. Because you will need them later on. And once you get those both undone, now you'll go to the bottom of the iPod and you'll simply push with your finger or you can also use uh, a tool if it's small enough and just push up and the iPod, the inside of the iPod mini will slide right out of the casing. That's all there is to the iPod mini. It's very small. There you see the battery. It's the blue uh, piece we've got there. It will be held on with a little piece of adhesive. Just simply pull straight up and it will come undone. Now you want to unhook your battery with the connector. Sometimes it works if you put your fingernails underneath. Otherwise you can just pull and uh, in a circular motion straight up and the connector will come undone. Grab your replacement battery. Connect it. Make sure that the tab is facing the right way. Position your battery back in place. Also make sure to maneuver the cords so that they will not get pinched when the uh, iPod mini goes back in its casing. 
we will now grab the uh, casing and there are two small two small uh, little uh, notches you can see and you want to have the iPod going behind those notches I simply push the iPod in you might have to maneuver it around do not force it in but just maneuver it without breaking the LCD screen if the iPod comes on or the LCD screen turns on do not worry that's sometimes a side effect sometimes it, it comes on when it uh, <clears throat> when it touches a contact uh, now you also want to uh, put your screws back in if you don't feel comfortable doing something like this, send it into ifixipodsfast.com. Quick and easy $29.95 or $29.99. Uh, battery replacement. Simple. Uh, now we want to connect the click wheel connector. Simple as lining it up and pushing it down in. We want to reattach the uh, clip. Make sure the adhesive side is facing upwards. Simply set one side in first. This can be a kind of tricky uh, ordeal, but s stick one side in first. And the goal is to snap the other side down in place. Once you do so, you can reattach the uh, white plastic piece. line it up correctly and make sure that all the uh, tabs have been set in place. Now we'll go to the top and we'll grab that piece simply line it up and snap it down into place and once you get those uh, once you get those plastic pieces back on you may want to uh, run a blow dryer over it again for a few minutes on low heat just to uh, rebond that adhesive here we see the Apple sign, so that's a very good sign once you've replaced your battery. And pretty soon we will see the menu. There it is. And voila. Once you've done that, it means your battery replacement has been successful. Make sure to test the click wheel and uh, other features before you get too excited, but just check everything. Alright, thank you for watching this video tutorial. You can check out forums.ifixipodsfast.com if you have any questions. Or you can visit ifixipodsfast.com for parts and or tools. Just a reminder, this video tutorial is copyright 2006 by Blake Paulson and is owned by ifixipodsfast.com. iPod and the iPod Mini are a registered trademark of Apple Computer Corporation.